Rainfall is a crucial factor for the survival of all the different ecosystems on Earth. Plants and animals obtain the water they need through rain. It is this rain that has facilitated life on Earth. However, the phenomenon of rain is not exclusive to our planet. Many planets lacking water experience rainfall. There are peculiar rains that encompass everything from sulfuric acid to gems. Today, we will explore these unusual rains that occur on various planets. Let's begin by examining the rain on the planets within our solar system. Six planets in the solar system receive rain. Mercury, the first and smallest planet closest to the Sun, has an extremely thin atmosphere, or it can be said that it lacks an atmosphere. Consequently, no wind, clouds, or rain can be observed on Mercury. On the other hand, Venus, the second planet, boasts a robust atmosphere, approximately 90 times thicker than Earth's. Consequently, when viewed from the outside, the surface of Venus remains obscure due to the thickness of its atmosphere. This atmosphere is laden with clouds of sulfuric acid, resulting in sulfuric acid rain. Notably, sulfuric acid is a potent acid. Venus's surface temperature exceeds 450 degrees Celsius, making it hotter than Mercury, despite its proximity to the Sun. The primary cause of this extreme heat is the excessive presence of carbon dioxide. Consequently, the rain falling on Venus never reaches the ground. Instead, the sulfuric acid rain, descending kilometers above the surface, transforms into vapor, returning to the atmosphere to form rain clouds once again. The next planet is our Earth. We have experienced the beauty and horror of rain here. I don't think we need any further explanation as to how it rains on Earth. Next, we go to Mars, our neighbor, and geographically very similar to our Earth. It is understood that Mars, which today is dry and just like a desert, had a similar situation to Earth hundreds of thousands of years ago, and water fell as rain. We have plenty of evidence that Mars had rivers and streams. The atmosphere of Mars is very thin compared to our Earth. All the clouds found in the thin atmosphere are thin. Those thin clouds can never rain on Mars. With this, all the terrestrial planets in our solar system are over. All that's left are the four gassy planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. All four of these gas giant planets experience rain, but not like rain on our Earth or Venus. Diamond rain falls on these gas planets. The atmospheres of these planets are dominated by ammonia and methane. Due to the strong pressure in the atmosphere, chemical reactions take place between them, and the carbon particles are separated. Carbon is heavier and sinks deeper into the atmosphere. As these particles go deeper, the pressure increases so strongly that the carbon is compressed into diamond. The entire diamond thus formed will fall into the core of the planet. Due to the intense temperature and pressure in the cores of Jupiter and Saturn, the entire falling diamond becomes liquid and floats around the core. But the cores of Uranus and Neptune are cold, so all the diamonds that fall there are in solid form. That means that the core of these four planets will be full of raining diamonds. Although we clearly know that there are abundant deposits of diamonds inside these planets, we cannot even imagine going there and extracting those diamonds due to the strong pressure on these gas giants. Apart from these planets in the solar system, there is rain on one of the satellites. Saturn's largest moon, Titan, has the same rainfall as Earth. Titan is the only moon to have a thick atmosphere. Titan's atmosphere is full of nitrogen and methane. Similarly, there are methane lakes, rivers, mountains, underground rivers, and seas on the surface. The atmosphere contains both nitrogen and methane, but nitrogen is the most abundant. It takes about a thousand years for this atmosphere to fill with methane and for it to cool and fall as rain. Methane rain occurs on Titan only once every thousand years. Similarly, we have already discovered many exoplanets outside the solar system. All the rains that fall on those planets are even more strange, terrifying, and surprising to us. If you have learned something new after watching this video, then don't hesitate to like and share this video, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are visiting this channel for the first time.